What up? What up? What up? What up? This is Louie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See if we have comments here. Shit. By the way, uh, thanks for those who watch uh, the new school Pinoy. Um, I love you all, man. Love you all, uh, especially to you, uh, Mingui. Yeah, yeah. Love you, fat. Um, I, want, I mean, I love you, man, okay? Appreciate it. Uh, thanks for the comment. Anyways, uh, it's Holy Week here in the Philippines, and a lot of exciting and religional uh, stuff's um, going on, especially to those people who have the yearly oath to read and sing the Holy Passage, and most especially to those uh, penitents and those who, um, those who crucify themselves. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, don't be crucified! I'll be crucified! <laughs> just practicing. Well, I, I just want to say hi to the penitents of Bamban and to the uh, Crucifixers Elite Club of San Fernando. <laughs> Wee! But don't get excited about that. Uh, you can never watch a movie that has a climax uh, on the opening part. Now, because uh, uh, that part of celebration uh, will happen Friday exactly 3 in the afternoon um, under the scorching heat from the sun under the scorching heat from the sun because of El Nino. Santo Nino? And there I said El Nino. Ah, Santo Nino. A Holy Week starts with, uh, with every Sunday. We call it uh, Palm Sunday. And of course, it ends with um, Easter Sunday. Yeah, Malu. I went to the church uh, last Palm Sunday with uh, Marianne De Leon and together with her niece, uh, Jampong. And boy, these are the things that I've seen. Uh, see how fast people go to the altar just to have their palm leaves and coconut leaves be blessed by holy water. Now, uh, you should have seen the priest. Um, the priest has been harassed by the church goers. Uh, example, I'm the priest, and um, I'm throwing out the holy water to them, and these are their palm leaves. Like, well, in fact, the, the priest might have thorn out from the rampage, <laughs> just like that. Most of us Filipinos are Catholic, but there are two types of Catholic uh, we have here. The first one is the faith, uh, the faith suicide. When um, they go to church every Sunday or more often, uh, they serve the church. Uh, mostly those are the uh, choirs, the uh, lectures, or the knights, or what we call the altar servants. Now, mid-class people, and not so mid-class people, and especially rich people who have the minimum mass offering of 500 bucks. Yeah. Those matches. Those mobsters and mafias are sitting in the front row, guys. And the second type of Filipino Catholic is what we, what what the priests call um, seasonal Catholics. Now, what is seasonal Catholic is? Well, these are the type of Pinoys who enters the church for baptism, um, wedding, Palm and Easter Sunday, Christmas, and last but not least seasonal Catholic Pinoy visits the church for the last time if he or she is inside the coffin. Yep. That's right. Funeral. Well, what makes me pursue to do this video is because I saw a man um, inside a church. Okay, He's only wearing um, sleeveless shirts, you know, sandals. And um, he has sleeves of tattoo there. And um, he's wearing tattered jeans also and flip-flops, flip-flops just like these have the anus. And he did not, he did not finish the Mass. It says that he was laid for the blessing of the palm leaf that he had. What he did is that he actually dipped, he dipped 
the palm leaf over the bowl where where we used to stir our hands before we do the uh, sign of the cross. Oh my god. We actually dip the palm leaf there and stir it. Oh my god. I know not all of us are religious people, but dude, good manners and right conduct was taught since grade one. Bigot. Now, I'm not going to prolong this anymore. I'll go straight to the point. If you just got out from being agnostic person and wants to go back to the big old guy, Mr. JC. The JC, you know? The guy who... Yeah. JC. Before you pray, confess, and ask forgiveness inside the church, please observe proper ethics and be conscious about the public, okay? As my Shuni said, uh, the guy, the Chinese guy uh, on Australia, he said, What's this? I don't know, man. We call it discipline. 